Hello. Hey guys, this is Dave. It's Jack and I'm back. <laughs> we bought a couple of boxes while we were in the queue for Stealth Roller Coaster down in Thorpe um, Park. Or Swarm. Or Swarm. Can't remember. Anyway, we already got the tank, so I thought I'll I'll chuck a couple of a uh, couple of quid at a chance of getting fourteen thousand gold. gold, basically. Yeah. We got this tank at Christmas time. We weren't yeah, after this it, tank. We weren't really wanting this tank. We weren't too fussed about it. But just randomly when we were playing, trying to get the T22 with a 1% chance, we ended up getting this with a 2% chance. Yeah, it came up on the lucky wheel thing. Yeah. Um, is, is it a tank that's had a lot of love from us? Well, I'd personally give it a 7. Up. 7, yeah. It's a 6 to 7 for me. It's I, the worst T125, basically. Yeah, well... Is it? I mean, that's a, that's a good question. It's the same gun in all but name. So it, the gun has a different name, but statistically, aside of a tiny bit of aim time and a tiny bit of dispersion, which is inferior to the E5, it's exactly the same gun, stats-wise. Um, what does this tank have going for it, then? It, well, its gun is probably the best part of the tank. Yeah. Like, I mean, pretty much every tank. It's it's yeah, it's solid. The armor is atrocious, and this is what you would probably call a more of a heavy. Um, I don't know. It is a heavy. Um, it, it's not. You wouldn't call it more of a heavy. Um, it, it basically is a heavy. Um, yeah, it, it's it's um, it's not a tank for newer players. If if your win rate starts with a a four, I would avoid this tank at all costs. If it starts with a five, and you're pretty sure you know what you're doing. Then maybe maybe give it a go. <laughs> if you're stuck in it, don't play it. If you if you ace it first game, then play it. Yeah, I mean, I I I I always look at the team lineup at the start and think, well, oh, I, anyway, as you see there, I just I just left that side of the map because there was an E100 and a Jagpanzer E100, and my teammate died. Exactly. There's no way I'm going to try and take them on frontally with this tank. And that is another thing that's good about this tank, escaping, because it has yeah. speed. It's got 40 kilometres an hour. I know, but that's good for a heavy. It's good for a heavy. And that's I... why it has no armour. If it because it has no armour, it can it can yeah. it has very good manoeuvrability, which know, makes it good for bullying mediums. The best thing about that 40 kilometres per hour speed is the fact that it gets to it super fast. Yeah. So you can go from zero to 40 pretty quick, uh, and you can certainly there's in fact there's a bit late there's a, a video clip later on where it really shows that off really well against the Fox. Yeah. Um, but as for that hull armour, it's only got what was it? Um, 114 millimetres of armour on the front. Now, that obviously isn't a lot for a heavy. In fact, it's non-existent for a heavy. Exactly. The obvious tank that will have you for breakfast... Is the 183. Is the 183. A Jack Panzer 100 or any tanks that have 640 alpha guns. <laughs> So yeah, if you if you come across uh, any British tank, we'd always remember to use HT in the back of American tanks. If you come across, um, especially this one. Yeah, if you come across any British tank that carries Hesh, then you Get want to avoid that. You want to avoid that tank if you can. Especially a Conway or. Yeah. Or an A183 or an FE4202. You want to get out of their way. Yeah, where the, where that 114 millimeters of armor works quite well i suppose is it's really steeply angled and i suppose the main benefit of that is because it's so many tight angles on the front that does does get you does get you some auto bounces to be fair that that uh, machine gun hatch at the top i've got to say it's not really an issue either people shoot at that and it's it's surprisingly trolled but it doesn't tend to go in it's, it's, um, it's sort of a beat in a way. Yeah, I, I, I tell you, the only times you'll really have trouble with that machine gun hatch port thing at the top is if you're uh, battling medium tanks and there's a good player on the other team who's got a decent gun, you know, like a. And he knows how to use heat. Yeah, they use heat or APCR, E50M, uh, any, 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 any good player with good accuracy uh, on the tank. They will keep hitting you. I've come across a few players who were, who were dead good. Even even though I was really hold down, they were still 
chucking in uh, premium rounds into that top hatch. So, it, it, but for most people that you'll come across in a the game, they'll they'll take shots at it, but they won't hit it, and it'll, you'll get almost bounces all the time off your turret. Um, again, the turret's not massively armoured. It's all about them steep angles, 152 mil of armour. Again, on the face of it, you could get heshed on there, but it, generally because of the angles and that, it won't go in anyway. Um, I wouldn't, I, you know, I would not chase this tank. Um, if you if you spend, if, if putting aside the issues of whether you should buy crates and open crates and all the rest of it anyway, um, that's entirely a personal choice. You don't have to go for it. We're not forcing you to get it. Yeah, yeah. I I, I would say, uh, personally. Knowing what I know about this tank, I will quite happily spend the four pound, four euro, four dollars, whatever it might be, Give it a go. for them two crates. Test um, your luck. But I wouldn't spend. I would not go buying the uh, whatever the the bulk is. It is it eleven crates on this one? I can't remember. So like fifty pounds. But yeah, I, I would. This tank is not worth that money. It is not worth it. Even if you definitely got it for that money, it is not worth it. It is. It is. It's a high. It's a higher skill tank. It's a very unforgiving tank, and and the thing I said about it most of all after I got it after Christmas was that it's just really super super average. There's nothing particularly exciting or interesting about it. Um, this is this little bit here. You'll see. I mean, really, I should have lost this game. Look how I close the distance and force him to take a shot off the front. See. Yeah. That's that's just that's an auto. That's a good strategy. Yeah, that's an auto bounce. Um, more than anything, it wasn't so much. I mean, you do get bounces like that. That that worked really well. This is the bit I'm talking about. The speed. This this fox player is not expecting what happens here, and most most tanks wouldn't. Do. If you're in a T1 Tenny Five. Oh, I remember this game. Yeah, if you're in a T1 Tenny Five, you would not have got away with that. You wouldn't. Um, but. This tank does go from naught to forty that pretty is, quick. That is the yeah, that's the that's the average. That's that's the advantage. I mean. That is the, that's totally the advantage because I thought Jeff, I can just get around the corner and away from this guy. We can win on caps, and uh, <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> that's exactly what I did. It's it's a cheap win, but at the end of the day, a win is a win after all, isn't it? Um, yeah. The the biggest problem I've had with this tank though is it doesn't it can't carry. It, you know, if you get down, I mean, all right, it carried there, but uh, that's really Two tanks. people got an ace. Yeah, yeah, the um, the OZ Panzer, what his name is, uh, a lot of credit is due to him because he did really, really well. He also got an ace. I mean, getting an ace in a tank like this is not hard at the end of the day, is it? I mean, these are pretty yeah. average games, to be fair. I mean, it's easy to ace because before crates, this, this was rarer than the T22. Oh, I think it was, yeah, yeah. For me, um, it was. I just didn't, I just didn't really want to play it a great deal. Um, but it's it's an okay tank. It, it's yeah. The, the, what I was saying was about it carrying. I've been in plenty of games where I've done four thousand plus damage, and it's come down to myself versus an IS seven and or you know something like an E one hundred, and you you're in that part of the map where I just couldn't get away. There was nowhere to run to, and you just got a bit of a ridge, and they climbed the ridge and. It's pretty much game over, unfortunately. The IS-7 is pretty quick. It's hard to get away from them sometimes, um, and you you will struggle. You'll struggle to to carry just because there's such a sheer lack of all any kind of armor. So you, you take that into account. I tend to play this medium range if I can as a support tank. Always play it second line. Don't be the one that's rushing out to spot. Yeah, Never yeah. Do that. That no. is way too risky for no. this tank. Don't do that. Don't. You, you really need to wait to see where the red team turn up. What, also what? a strategy for the start of a game. Let some of your mediums go and spot the first set of mediums and then yeah. follow the mediums if there's at least three, two mediums or more. Yeah, definitely worth supporting them. Um, it's a good medium it's, bully. It's a good medium bully for sure. Uh, I, I know that... Um, you know, not everyone will agree with that strategy on a tank like this, but that's how I tend to play the um, the heavyums, if you like. Um, that or second, third line support. Um, you you otherwise you're just going to get absolutely. What the the thing you don't want to ever do, and unless it's like the last tank at the end of the game, is hit point trade, and you know you're going to win. Uh, actually, DPM isn't bad. 
it's up it's up there. It's not as good as a WZ one one three or an FV two one five B. I mean they are way out in the front um, in terms of uh, their DPM. This is a little way behind that, but Yeah, it's, it's a little chunk behind, but it's yeah. it's de then again it has that speed advantage. Yeah. And you've got your four hundred hour first, so and it, if you switch to the heat you've got good pen plenty to go through the front of the VK there which is solid as you like on the front, even angled so you, you can punching through that. You can punch through, yeah. So I just need my teammate to finish him off there. Um, and we just it's just a race for the last kill there. Um, and you you see um, in a few of these, I mean I skip forward a bit, but you'll see um, Hopefully your speed how quickly it does get, get up. So we're up to thirty, going uphill, soft ground, up to thirty. So you can see it can mm -hmm. move around. Its terrain resistance isn't too bad. Um, so yeah. I, I wouldn't um, go opening more than the double crate for this, and if it's on sale again, you know, like later this year or something, like they, they sometimes do, maybe go for it. But um, it's better than the Badger. I mean, the Badger's just a one trick pony. That's, that's, a, pretty, that's a pretty bad tank. <laughs> this is a lot better than that. It's probably not anywhere near as good as the AMX 30. I would say MX30 mm. is a lot more fun because you can just run around like a crazy person. Um, the, Do you mean the medium there? The medium, yeah, yeah. The uh, the the only the, even the heavy tank can do that as well. Yeah. Oh, watch out! Incoming bot. Incoming bot. Bot alert! <laughs> bot bot alert! <laughs> I am convinced this player is a bot. I mean. <laughs> they have zero mm. military honor. I mean. How? They've even got eight aces. They've got I'm, 200 tanks, eight aces. I've seen a lot worse, but uh, I thought if I track him, then if someone else kills him, I'll get the, uh, the credit for some of their some of their XP for that. Um, but he can see, look, take a shot, keep moving, get to the ridge where you're strongest, use your, your, your superior turret armour, keep an eye on that E100, make sure it's a teammate's rolled in there so he's not going to push on me. He could get... Well, actually, there's there's no guarantee you won't try and push me because you know what players are like. But um, this is the sort of position you want, where this tank's spotted, and you can just use the ridge, keep your armor solid, use that gun. Um, I actually use um, supercharged shells because I found that when we first played this tank a lot, that uh, the the shell would take forever to get to the tank. It wouldn't always penetrate and all the rest of it. And, Perhaps I was being too cautious and trying to play at too much distance, but I found once I switched to supercharge, I had no problem A, hitting the target almost as soon as I pressed the shoot button, and B, penetrating. So definitely worth considering. Uh, other than that, I run both the food and repair kits. As you can see on uh, for a few of these games, I actually use speed boost, but I now run two repair kits because you don't want those tracks. Yep. Um, you need, you might need to repair the tracks more than once because it's, it's it's quite got, weak. They quite they seem to be quite weak to me. Yeah, um, it's obviously on a long reload. Uh, and unfortunately, all them juicy E one hundred hit points went to waste because I couldn't get there. We want on cap, so that's just about it, guys. Thank I'm you. I'm not gone from the channel. You're not gone from the channel, no. No. So actually, I keep getting asked: Have you left the game? Are you still playing? What's the deal? I play rarely, but I focus on other games. But we we are thinking about bringing some new games to the channel. Yeah, yeah, maybe so. Uh, it depends if anyone watches them, of course. But so we'll be back. We'll do a few more videos in the future. Um, but not yep. not like lots of content like we used to do. So um, anyway, hope you enjoyed our thoughts on that tank, and we'll catch you later. Bye. Bye.